What is going on guys, it's Wafa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we went over to the mines over here, where was that? Uh, right here. Went over to the mines and got to, uh, oh what happened to it right there? Uh, we went over there to the mines, we uh, got to level what, like 7 or 8 or something like that over there. Uh, we got like to the first checkpoint, which is level 5, I guess every 5 levels you unlock the uh, elevator and you're actually able to kind of fast travel to each level. And you guys, I was reading you guys' comments, you guys left me once again a bunch of helpful comments. Uh, I need to open up my notes, I actually forgot to open that. Uh, but I took a ton of heckin' notes before recording this episode, it's a little bit overwhelming, because I might uh, end up glossing over some of the stuff that you guys, uh told me and I wrote down over here, but there is a ton. Uh, some of the main things I guess we can talk about is that uh, here, I, I, it was during nighttime and I was like, man, why is it so dark inside of my house? And yeah, you guys were like, yeah, you can just turn on your fireplace. How do I do this? There you go. Uh, I'm not I'm like, I'm not going to notice it right now because it's only like, daytime, so I got sunshine through there. I uh, also got another comment actually saying, hey, you need to keep at least like one of everything. Uh, just because like I guess you can use it for crafting stuff here in the future and you definitely want to have at least uh, some stuff for crafting maybe uh, I don't think I wrote down too much specifics about that but basically just have like one of everything so you know we sold a lot of stuff at the end of last episode uh, mainly just for the money you know because we're trying to save up for that backpack but at the same time kind of want to you know save some of the stuff just like that guy commented uh, also another comment said hey get, grab that cherry bomb and actually explode that and I believe uh didn't we unlock the recipe for the cherry bomb at the end of last episode I think so. Wait, whoops. How do I, uh, crafting? Where's that at? Is that it right there? Yeah, four copper ore and one coal. Did we make the, uh... I don't think we made the furnace yet, did we? I think we still have the 20-ish copper still over here, right? Yeah, we have 22 right there. 64 stone. You know what? Let's make the furnace. Just because I kind of want to get that going. Uh, let's see. There it is right there, furnace. Now, where are we going to place that, by the way? I, do I want to rearrange my house? Can I rearrange my... Because I picked up the TV that one time. Then How do I do that? Oh, there you go. Okay, you just click on it. Boom. Uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to have it? You know what? Let's let's do this. Let's move. Well, I guess I can't move like the table and the uh. The, okay, let's put this. Let's put these like right here. I guess. Can I rotate the chair and like have it facing the TV? Oh, whoops. Uh, maybe. I'm like it. It don't. It, it's not like Terraria where it's like the the way you're facing is the way that uh, the thing kind of reorients itself. So that, that kind of sucks there. Whoops. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to organize this. <laughs> But I do want to have a lot of room over here. Can I organize the, uh, can I pick up the furnace and just, or the fireplace? I guess I can. Golly, there you go. It's moving. <laughs> there you go. Move the painting, too. There you go. Move it, uh, sure. Move it right there. Move the fireplace, like, one more slot. I'm liking this little, uh, reorganization over here. I did also get some comments of you guys saying, hey, you will be able to upgrade your house over time. Uh, it's going to cost a little, oh, whoops. Is that on? Okay, there you go. That's on the table. It will cost a lot of money. I think, uh, $10,000. Oh, I can't pick this up. Oh, it I bet, I bet I could pick that up once it's uh, actually empty, though. But now that we have it kind of rearranged here, let's try and make the uh, the furnace. There you go. Journal updated. We have the furnace now. Turns ores and coal into metal bars. Did we sell the coal from last? Oh, I think we did. Didn't oh, whoa. Oh, I placed it down right there. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, no. I still have coal. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, <laughs> the coal is cool. <laughs> so how do, how do I interact with this thing, then? Hold on. Wait, how do I? Oh, whoops. God, man. I'm gonna have to look into this, you guys. Let's put it right next to the furnace. That kind of makes sense. Now, do I just put this? Oh, I guess you could only do five ores at a time. Man, I guess we'll have a multiple of five, and then we'll be able to actually smelt it inside there. So, I guess we'll just put that back, back up inside there. We have extra stone. I did also get some comments from you guys saying uh, to actually grab some of these tools. What if we go back to the mines and actually try and try some stuff out over there? So, I suppose we can go over there and do a little bit of myth busting. I also want to try and go fishing. I wanted to go fishing last episode, kind of got all caught up with all the mines and all that kind of stuff. Didn't really have any time to go fishing and actually try and catch a fish. Uh, apparently, actually, fishing is a decent way to get money. You know, you could fish to sell the fish, hopefully some high value fish for some good money. And uh, remember, we're about halfway. Oh, man, speaking of getting money, should be able to get some money from this horseradish right here, right? Boom. And if not, we can just straight up eat that. Uh, but about that cherry bomb. Oh, yeah. And then you guys were also commenting about me. Uh, like, 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 it was raining. Oh, I should have... Should I go back? Uh, you know, we'll probably go back home here in just a bit anyways. But I wanted to go back and watch the TV, uh, watch the fortune teller, the weather channel, and what was the other one? Anyways, let's go back here, and I think this is what that guy was talking about in the comments. To use the cherry bomb here. While editing last episode, by the way, too. Oh, another thing you guys were talking about. Uh, man, see, this is what I'm talking about. There's so many things going on. I'm, like, talking over myself, and I'm having thoughts all over the place. It's crazy. Uh, but... You guys were saying, go into the settings. Where was it? Uh, let's see. Turn on the always show tool hit location in the options. Okay, let's see if I can find that. 
show oh man never mind it's right here at the top there it is right there so apparently that's going to make it a lot easier for me to like plant stuff i guess uh oh oh yeah see there it is i have the host selected okay and even whenever i'm going behind myself in this way too okay yeah this makes it a lot easier Looks like it doesn't show whenever I used a sword, which is good. And by the way, yeah, I also got some comments from guys saying if you if you come across like a crate or whatever, and you try and break open the crate, if one used the sword for that because it's not going to use energy, uh, you know, it only uses energy whenever it actually hits an enemy. So either way, let's use the cherry bomb now. Which I don't know if that setting actually did anything with this, but uh, let's put that right there. Ah! It's gonna blow! Hopefully it blows open that. Oh man, that's actually a pretty decent big area right there. Yeah, well, like I was saying, while editing the last episode, I was thinking, you know what, there was like three or four slimes in one location. I should have used the cherry bomb against those slimes, but at the same time, we wouldn't have the cherry bomb to explode that. So <laughs> I guess it's good that I saved it, right? So, oh, whoa, whoa, what was that? Oh, there's like a whole, oh my, I bet there's a way to like tunnel and that's like a secret exit out of here, ooh. Maybe. And then we have like so many heckin' missions over here in the journal. We're probably going to get another mission from this guy. Who's this guy? Uh, Dwarf. Oh, Toxu Totten Snoy to What? Toxu Totten Towson Toxu Totten Say Op Toxu Totten's Oi Latone. <laughs> okay. I'm like, I guess I'm glad that I read through all that. That was kind of interesting. I thought it was an actual thing at first, but I guess not. I don't know what this guy's talking about. Uh. Oh, he said something else right there. Wait, what does this say? Oh, yeah, uh, you guys are saying, yeah, if, if you talk to people enough, yawn. <laughs> if you guys, if, if I talk to people enough, I'll let like, my relationship, oh, I can't talk to him anymore. Man. But yeah, your, like, relationship meter or whatever will go up with them. Where is that at? Here's right here, social. Uh, and then also, yeah, you guys were saying, if I want to give a gift to someone, give them a flower. Oh, what is this? Why does this have an X next to it? Uh, oh, birthday is 22 summer, which means it's, I guess it's coming up because it's springtime right now, right? Uh, you haven't given any gifts to you. Yeah, but yeah, if, if I just give like anyone over here like a flower, like it, it's, it's pretty basic, but hey, it's a gift anyway. So if we come across anyone and it's their birthday, I guess we could just pick a flower and give it to him. And I guess any type of flower will do. Can I steal his gold coins right there? I guess I can. What's inside of that chest? I kind of want to check. I guess I can't see. So what's the point of this? I'm like, he's speaking some ancient alien language I'm not able to <laughs> really decipher what he's talking about over here, and uh, now he's not talking to me anymore. He's got a locked chest over here with gold coins and a gold pouch right there I can't do anything with. <laughs> that kind of sucks. But I, I do want to go down and do a little bit of myth busting real quick, by the way. Uh, oh yeah, w one, one thing I did read in the comments was, I think it was these right here, right? The red. Oh, look at how easy that is to select it now. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. I think it was the red ones, not the orange ones, right? Uh, but apparently the orange ones slash red ones are more likely to have copper and the i guess these gray ones right here i guess these ones are more likely to have iron and coal just trying to look around the different colors and stuff like that so i, I guess we just want to stick and these ones take like multiple hits to actually break by the way uh, i think someone oh man there it is right there i think someone said oh no no, no that, that was something else i'm thinking about right now oh gosh slimes and stuff uh but Oh, what in the world? I spawned it. I'm immediately stuck. What? <laughs> but, uh, like, finding ladders and stuff like that, apparently it has something to do with luck. And if you talk to the fortune teller during the, you know, while you're at home or whatever, then you'll actually be able to figure out, oh, oh, oh it's combat. I don't think it's going to be any easier because it doesn't show the red uh, squares or anything like that for this, unfortunately. Hold on. Block, 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 block. Why am I not able to block? Man! Ah, I still need to do a lot of practice with this, you guys. Seem like I'm not able to block sometimes. It's kind of crazy. There you go. Trying to get a collateral with these guys. I don't know if I can just spam here. Like, I'm kind of... Oh, amethyst. Ooh, someone said... Oh, 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 is this slime? Oh, you can only block for a set amount. You can't block constantly like in Minecraft and, well, a lot of other games and stuff like that, too. Like, I'm, go I'm going to make a lot of similarities like Minecraft, Terraria. Maybe I'm like, I made a reference to Slime Rancher last episode, didn't I? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm just trying to compare this game to other games I've actually played. So I know some people get upset whenever I compare games to other games that are nothing like the games, but I'm just going to forewarn you guys. It's going to be happening quite a lot. But either way, I'm going to try and uh, exclusively get these here. Avoid, like, I guess the brown rocks. So focus on the red, the orange, and the... I guess the gray there. So, oh, oh gosh, a rock crab guy. Yeah, well, coming up with a title for the last episode, I was like, what in the world is that little rock crab guy? I looked it up. It's literally called a rock crab. <laughs> oh, jeez, I thought I killed him there. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. And I do want to test out what that is right there, because I came over here with the hoe and the uh, the sickle and the... Oh, gosh. Oh! Wait, what in the... I killed... I, I broke the rock part of him and got the crab. What? 
a marine crustacean with two powerful pincers. Am I able to sell that and get some good money? I hope so. Golly. Oh, oh. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, copper's over here. A pretty good amount of it. Like, right there and right there and probably some more over here with the red and orange. Uh, even more up there, too. But I got a comment from someone saying, like, if you find something, like, wiggling in the ground, you want to hit it with either the hoe. I think it was the hoe. I don't think I'm seeing anything wiggling right now, by the way. And I might, I might want to just do this, because I did get some comments of you guys saying, perfect. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think anyone actually commented perfect. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm far from heckin' perfect with this game, but, uh, I guess we'll eat the horseradish. How do you, uh, there you go, eat the wild horseradish. There you go, get a little bit of inventory space back. But, basically, bug meat, you could use that to craft, uh, fishing, like, not lure, uh, bait. And then I also got comments saying, like, the slime... I guess it's just called slime, right? Yeah, I was about to say slime meat right there. <laughs> but I guess the slime the, the slime is actually kind of trash. It's kind of worthless, so I uh, probably don't want to waste any of my time or energy with that. So I might I might just end up dropping that here in just a bit. Uh, but I do want to try and kill these slimes over here. Just so we could actually get... Let's see, let's break these. Oh, what? Ah, oh, you have to get used to this. At least it shows me the outline now, which is good. But I do want to kill these slimes so I can actually get to the... Oh, so I can get to the... Copper, because we have two, I think, was it two copper at home? We need to have five in order, oh man. We'd have five in order to actually smelt. We do have, like, what, oh god, whoa, man, that thing jumps all over the place like a heckin' jumping jack. There you go, and block. Oh, oh, it, 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 it tinked against my sword. Turn around, what do you, oh no, I got slimed, that's why, I'm slow as heck. Man, the slime is really, really resilient, golly. Man. Trying to break this some copper out of it. Wow, three copper right there. Don't mind if I do. How do I drop a? How do I just drop something? Oh man, I'm about to. Oh, is this it? No, that's organized. Wasn't there a trash can to be able to drop? Oh, oh yeah, there it is right there. I didn't see that. Whoops. Uh, I guess I could pick that up and just kind of put it in the trash can next time, right? But uh, we do have a bug over here. I get. I think it's literally just called a bug. Oh wait, there you go. We get some bug meat out of that. Use that as some bait. Uh, we we're actually slightly low on health, so I don't know if I want to risk going over there with that slime and uh. Uh, come on, yes, yes, got some copper out of that, perfect. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's, okay, yeah, that's the slime. Okay, don't want to grab that. But we got, uh, we have four copper right now, I think two at home. So, and I, I guess I could try and break these over here so I'm getting copper. I think it was the, just the red ones, not the orange ones here. And of course, the, like, the rocks with the orange specks out of them, of course, that gives you copper too. Yeah, leave the mine, yeah, we can just leave the mine. Not that big of a deal right now. Is this guy, uh, can I talk to this guy now? Or what? Did he reset? I don't know. Uh, no, nothing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's that noise? Okay. If I block that, that little da -da 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 noise is just telling me, okay, your, your, your cool down for blocking is now over, Hater. So uh, I guess I'm good in that regard. Now, we need to figure out how to, we, we got this, this side open over here. We got the elevator open. I'm kind of curious about the minecart now. Am I able to use it or what? Because I think it didn't say it was like out of order. Yeah, out of order. So, oh yeah, well. No, I don't think you need to have, like, the little wood things in them, but I think it still works without those there. I don't know why that's out of order. Maybe we need to uh, come back here a little bit later. But for right now, oh, gosh, speaking of later, golly, it's already late as heck. Uh, well, we, we have a lot of stuff right now. We have the crustacean, we have the crab. Kind of want to save that until we get to the Willy's area. We go fishing later this episode, hopefully. I'm going to go over there and see if we can sell uh, to get some good money out of them. Speaking of money and selling and getting good money, you guys did say, hey, if, if you sell... With the box next to your house, apparently you're supposed to get better prices than if you sold at like Pierre or Jojo Mart or something like that. And yeah, you guys were also reiterating to not shop at Jojo Mart because it gives you the worst prices. Shop at Pierre, I guess, uh, shop locally, <laughs> get better prices. And uh, I don't know if that also applies whenever you're selling stuff, but uh, you guys were saying that whenever uh, I was talking about buying stuff, I think, right? So, oh, what? Oh, man, I, I thought I turned the. Oh, yeah, it turned off because I moved it earlier, didn't it? Yeah. How do I do this? There you go. Eh, yeah, it brightens up a little bit. Not too bad, I guess. You guys also said not to waste my time with the torches, uh, so I'm, I'm, I guess I just won't get any torches. <laughs> so, either way, uh, bug meat and amethyst, I guess we'll put that up. Bug meat, amethyst, copper ore, I guess we'll grab that real quick and see if we could use the furnace and the crab. Let's put that up. The hoe, I guess we can keep that. And let's see, how's this work? I put, oh, it's smelting right now. Wait, did I not? Oh, it took a coal from my inventory. Okay, I was about to say, like, do I have to put the copper in there and then put the coal? But no, it does it automatically. Cool. Interesting. All right. Well, this is going. It should tell us the. Uh, oh man, decor. I don't know what to do with that. I, oh, man. Oh hey, look at that. We got an ingot. Hey, or a copper bar. Cool. We just got a journal entry right there. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I do want to read or uh, watch the TV. Man, stop picking that up. Stop picking that up too. 
Which one is it? Is it right click on the... What? Oh my gosh. There we go, golly! Look at the weather report. We'll see what's going to be tomorrow. Your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Okay, so we're not going to be meeting that Sebastian guy tomorrow, unfortunately. Uh, but it's going to be perfect for fishing, I hope. So, either way, how do I do that? Here you go, fortune teller. I think I might want to wait until... Oh, I can't do the... Uh... What's this? I can't do the, the cooking lady. I guess I can't do that until I upgrade my house, like you guys are saying. I'll get, like, a kitchen or something, huh? Either way, let's go to bed. Turn it to daytime. Uh, yes, go to sleep for the night. I'll, it, oh, 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 man. Oh, man. I was about to say, do I want to sell anything and get it in that box and get it ready for the morning? But no, it's a little too late now. <laughs> man. But I do want to grab, uh, I guess, put that up. Put that up. Copper ore. Uh, I do want to also read, like, look at this. I, I've got, I'm probably got a lot of stuff over there, right? Uh, no, not really. Deeper in the mine. Advancement, is this it right here? Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. Ooh, are we already far? I think we already got that level up, didn't we? Because that unlocked the scarecrow. I guess we could see what we need to actually make it, and then that will be pretty good. And maybe keep away different pests and <laughs> crows. <laughs> It'll scare away the crows. Let's see, let's read this. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Hey, maybe that's why I call it a scarecrow. So how do I make that? I'm pretty sure we have the recipe already. I don't wanna, yeah, there it is right there. One coal, 50 wood, 20 fiber. I think we could do that. How, was, how much was that? Uh, 50 wood, we have 30. What was it, like 20 fiber? How do I grab? Can I shift? Wait, what, what was that? Okay, shift does half. Okay, that's actually kind of good. What was it, 20 fiber and uh, one coal, I think? Just one crying. Oh, am I able to see the... Uh, oh, no, it just changed the color up there. I was about to say, am I able to see the recipe while the chest is open? That would have been really good. Let's see. What else am I missing? Just 20 wood, I guess, huh? So I guess we'll go out. Let's see. Where is it at? Here's the axe right here. Let's go cut down some trees. I guess we just do it over here in our backyard. Oh, and... Oh, wait, whoa, what, what in the world is this? Hello, Waffle. Marnie. It looked like there was a dog. You see this dog here? Yeah, I see that dog there. Is that my dog? Oh! Oh, it's barking! And it's panting, too. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor thing. Oh. So do I get to keep this dog? Hey, it seems to like this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good dog? I think I think it can. This is going to be really good. Will you adopt this dog? Yes, I will. Choose the name Yogi. Oh, uh, am I able? I don't know if I'm able to rename this thing later. Like, I'd usually let you guys name things, but like, I, am I, if I'm able to name this thing later, then I guess I'll, I don't know. I have to look into this. Nah. I guess I'll just do the random here and see what we get. Bozzy, Nilla, Tika. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl or what. Fetto. I guess these are all just uh, neutral names that will apply to either one, huh? Sartello, Kona. Like, I've never heard of any of these. <laughs> like, they sound super duper random, so. Zucky, Zuckerberg. <laughs> this is heckin' Mark Zuckerberg. Peppa, Sack. <laughs> I'm just gonna name my dog Sack. <laughs> Zongus. I don't, I don't know, I might just keep Zongus as a meme. <laughs> oh, okay, let's just do that right now. Hopefully I can change it, and I'll let you guys name it, but uh, if I can't, then I guess it's gonna be Zongus, huh? Well, Zongus, you'll be a good pooch now, okay? <laughs> She's probably wondering why I named a dog Zongus. <laughs> of all names, I could have named this good boy. <laughs> oh, and it's barking, too. And I still have mail from yesterday, probably new mail today, too. And there you go. Okay, so where, where'd that dog go? Is it in my, uh... I don't see it around the. Is it in the house or what? What? What are we going to? Go oh, there he is! Hey, there's Zongo or Zongus. I don't even know what the name. Is. <laughs> well, how do I? Uh, do not attack it with the axe, golly! Don't feed it a crab. I can't interact with it. Decorative. Stop picking up the decorative bowl. Where'd it go? I picked it up and put it there again. Man, you know I kind of want to sell that thing. I keep picking it up. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can do anything with Zongus here. A, a, a Zongus. I'm, I'm trying to squeeze in an Among Us meme right there, but I, can, I couldn't do it. It's like a year late, though. <laughs> Either way, we need to cut, yeah, cut down uh, 20 more trees. I was about to say I needed to water my crops yesterday, but I forgot to do it. But, uh, I don't know, a little too late now, I guess. I don't think we uh, watered them yesterday, unfortunately. Oh, wait, didn't we do it at the... Yeah, we didn't do it. We, I think we might have done it at the end of last episode, but... Oh, my gosh, look at how much easier this is now. But, uh, because... Like, I ended the episode, like, it only saves the game whenever you... Oh, yeah, look at the crops that we're missing. Golly, I need to do something about that. But yeah, it only saves the game whenever you, uh... 
go to sleep, which kind of sucks. I did uh, look into there are mods where you could actually have like manual. You could have more control over your saves and whatnot. Uh, I might actually end up doing it. If I'm going to install any mods on this first playthrough, it'd probably be something like that, just to make it a little bit easier for me to back up my saves and stuff. I'm super duper, uh, I guess, careful, I guess you could describe it as, where I always make a backup of my saves before and after recording, just in case the game crashes, or a save gets corrupted, or anything like that. It's saved me so many times in the past, so that's why I kind of want to do that for this, and I've been doing it for everything I've played on this channel for like past like five years or something like that, to be quite honest. I have so many heck of backups, it's insane. I guess we can check our mail real quick and cut down some trees and whatever else. Let's see. What does it say? I see you've been exploring the old mine. You got the adventurer spirit. That much I can tell. If you could slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful, Marlin. We've killed We've killed more than that, right? Initiation. Zero. Oh, man. I guess I have to do it from, like, now on. Ah, I probably should have checked my mail yesterday. We would have been, like, halfway there probably, right? I don't know, we, we could probably work towards that next episode or something like that, because like I said earlier, I do want to do some fishing, try and get that going, but, uh, let, let's see. I have to use the axe for these little, little... Wait, what? Or do I, can I just pick that up just normally? I don't know. Wait, what am I not... Am I missing something here? Why am I not able to get the twig, the woods or... Wait, hold on. Is that the axe or is that the hoe? Oh, I was hitting it with the hoe, I didn't even... <laughs> oh, they look very similar down there. But there you go, we're cutting the, cutting, getting these little twigs down. There we go. And I guess we can cut down a tree or two here as well. Let's see, is that a... I know the log right there. We get about 14 more, so let's cut down a tree or two here. I like, we kind of need to do it anyways if we want to uh, clean out the area here. Oh, hold on, is that... Right there, is that a thing you guys were talking... Or right there. Is that a thing you guys were talking about? Like a little... Oh! There we go, acorn! Yeah, hit it with a hoe! Oh, and we have, we have more wood over here. Was that sap as well? Cool. Up to 49 wood. Okay, let's actually get one more. I think there's another one over there. I want to go hit with a hoe and see what we get out of it. Let's see. Oh, wait, there's another one right there, actually. Ooh. Wait, what is that? Oh, my oh, man, my inventory's full. But no, hopefully not for long. And there's another one right here. The world is that? <laughs> a little bug or something like that, like a husk of, like, a beetle or something. So, either way, uh, let's get the scarecrow. I guess we can get that going. I don't know why the crops over there are, like, uh, the dirt or whatever is, like, kind of, like, dying. <laughs> I don't know how dirt dies, but uh, you guys know what I mean. I guess we'll just get this going. Maybe, maybe the crows have something to do with it, huh? I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll place it here in the middle. I'm like, it kind of makes sense. There you go. So we got a scarecrow going. So do we have that mission done now? Hey! Advancement done. Reward 100G. Uh, admit. Uh, yeah. So, boom. There you go. We get 100 right there. Cool. And then raising animals, deeper in the mind, initiation. Raising animals. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build a coop or barn so that you could raise animals. Interesting. I assume it's going to be really expensive. So, sounds like we're going to be starting out with a chicken coop right there, though. So I don't know how expensive that is, but it might be worth paying her a visit. Oh, yeah. There are the things that I picked up over here. Oh, it's a pine cone. Random pine cone in the ground. And a maple seed. Ooh. I wonder if I can grow trees. Hold on. What's this? Oh, another maple seed right there. Ooh, cool. And we had an acorn earlier, too. Yeah. Another. And we have it. Hold on. So am I able to grow a tree? If I do, like, if I wanted to grow a tree, like, right here. Like, there we go. I could till the ground, put a, put one of these here. Boom. And then water it. Well, I'm not seeing anything happen with the water, but, like, it's a tree, so it's not going to grow overnight, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I kind of feel like well, that's not going to happen, so maybe I'll just get that back. Yeah, there you go. Maple seed, get that back. Maybe I'll see if I can find anything else around here, though. What's that? That's nothing. I thought that was something right there. Nah, I didn't say anything there. I guess if I'm just tilling the ground and there's nothing there, it's just going to disappear after a while anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, I suppose. I'm not seeing anything there. No, none of the grass over here has respawned, unfortunately, so that guy sucks. Oh, there's more, uh, hold on. There's more things over there. Let's get this. There you go. Oh, yeah, we're getting a little bit of fiber as well. What are these little things? You pay more attention to these. Oh, man, that was probably like a little sapling of a tree and it just died right there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, little tree. Hold on, so... I kind of want to go pay Robin a visit. Uh, I, does she? I, I, I don't know if she's the one that lives carpenter shop. Yes, Robin, Demetrius, Sebastian, and Maru. Uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So yeah, we can go there right now. I kind of want to. Oh, and you know what? We have the crab. I guess we can go. Let's go pay them a visit, and then 
And I don't know, dude, I, I guess we'll put up all these seeds and stuff like that, by the way. Just get a little bit of inventory. Oh, there's Zongus. <laughs> I need, I really need to remember that guy's name. There you go, put all these up. Just put everything up, except for the crab and the... Uh, I guess we put... Uh, you know what, let's put all these up. Just so I have as much inventory space as possible. And, grab the bamboo uh, pole, so we could actually use that to potentially catch some fish. I assume we don't need any bait. I just want to go over there and test this out and see if we can actually catch anything. Uh, but uh, it's probably going to be after we could talk to... Ro oh, man. Whoa, 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 So I see this, but is that money just left behind? Hold on. Here, I'll grab that. Oh, man. Wait, what is this? What is this? Out of order. Man! Oh, is this the train? Wait, no. Wait, how do I get up to there, then? That's like a train station or something. Like that We saw a sign... I'm not seeing it. I didn't see this until now. I don't know if this is new. I don't think I can cut down these trees or anything like that, by the way. But I don't know if this is, like, money someone left behind or what. Oh, no, those are dandelions. Ooh, cool. I assume I can just give someone dandelions as, like, a gift if it's their birthday. I might want to go check that calendar over by the, uh, the general or, uh, was it? Yeah, I think it was the general store. See if anyone's birthday is today and just give them some dandelions, some literal weeds. <laughs> See if we'll, uh, get some good... I, I guess friendship points with them, so that'd be pretty cool. And want to look out for someone who looks like a, like they're all dressed in black and stuff like that, because that's going to be Sebastian. I don't think he's going to be out unless it's raining, right? But I'm still going to keep my eyes peeled. Oh man, here we go. Here's a flower. Daffodil. Hey, Wait, can I steal these flowers here? I don't know. <laughs> it's not letting me steal those. All right, let's go over here though. Let's go check that. Uh... Oh, there's uh the mayor guy. What, what are you up to here? Lewis. Oh, there's nothing like a strong cup of tea in the morning. Well, it's almost 3 p.m., but, uh, okay, I guess you're not wrong. <laughs> Help wanted. Nothing else but... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. High quality seeds only up here. Okay. Oh, yeah, you know what? Ah, uh, someone commented. Ah, uh, where was it? Somewhere in here. Oh, yeah. You can, you can complete quests for people on this bulletin board, and that will be another way of getting, uh... A good, uh, oh man, where's the cal- I, I just want to look at the calendar on this. But that'll be a good way of getting, uh, like, like, friendship points with people. Closed on Wednesdays? What? That's kind of random. <laughs> I don't know why it's closed on Wednesdays. But yeah, that's going to be a way of getting, uh, friendship points and whatnot. Is that- hold on, is this- Oh no, I was about to say, is this- Is the dog that wandered off to my farm, is that the one that was, like, here? But no, I just saw some eyes right there. Also got some comments from guys just saying to check the- Oh! Joja Cola! Hey! Hopefully we get some good money out of that. You guys also said to check the trash can, see if we get anything good. And if if we check the uh the TV, oh man, here's another one. Oh man, now I'm going to notice all these trash cans. But if we check the TV, like the fortune teller or whatever, she'll say, like what your luck is for the day. And I guess if you have high luck, you'll be more likely to find good stuff out of trash cans and stuff, and uh, also be more likely to find like ladders in the mine and and some other stuff like that, you know. But I guess we can go down here and mine. Oh. Oh yeah, sewer. Yeah, I, I got some comments saying to go back to where was it? Sewer grate that's like over here. What was it over here? Oh, they are right there. The sewer pipe. Saying to go over there because that's where the green onions were, or whatever those were called. Uh, and apparently those have respawned by now. So uh, I guess we can go back there. What is this a cockle? Ooh, interesting. So we get. Oh, and there's another one of these little statues. What? So my. Hold on. Is that what that little? What does that guy look like? Looked like he was on like a hood or something. Oh, and this is what this guy looks like right here, by the way. Yeah, dwarf. Is this a? No, it's not a statue of a dwarf. I don't think it might be, but it looks like this one's just wearing a hood. I don't know. Hmm. And who's this guy? There's two people I haven't met. The uh, Sebastian. And, oh, that's got to be the wizard then. Yeah, we still haven't met him. Oh yeah, speaking of the wizard, apparently we need to go there. Like, ah man. Someone said there's like a shop or something like that by the wizard and I need to go there like on certain days and we can get like blueberry seeds and like strawberry seeds and some of that. Uh, man, this is what I'm talking about. I get like so overwhelmed with you guys' helpful comments that I'm just like mixing everything up and I'm, I have so many heckin' notes. Like a huge text file over here of notes. Like if, if this would show up on camera, which I'm sure it's not because uh, it only records the gameplay, but uh, I've got this giant notepad file here full of notes from you guys, so <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, go over here. Uh, am I able to pick up the rope there? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, but I do want to see if we can get any money out of this. Oh, wait, I wonder if we can get any money out of the cockle and any other seashells we can come across. To oh, jeez, Willy. Some fish come and go with the seasons. Others only come out at night or in the rain. Interesting. So, oh, oh I can see, like, fish bubbling right there, so hold on. Oh, jeez, I need this. Hold on, am I able to... I want to reset that. Oh, there you go. Oh, I got Max right there. Ooh, interesting. 
You guys said there's going to be a. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Click to raise bar. Release to lower the bar. Keep the bar behind the fish. Okay, let's keep the bar. Oh, no, no, no. Behind the fish, not under the fish. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I see it. Interesting little mini game here. And then we catch the fish. Hey, a sunfish. Length five inches. Eh, not bad for our first. And it's a silver star. Oh. I'm not bragging or anything like that, but uh, my first ever fish I caught was a silver star. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Whoops. Oh, can I reset that? Yep. There you go. Maximum casting of the rod. Let's try and get another one. We only have room for one more. Oh, oh. I got a driftwood. What? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. Uh, yep. I'm like, I don't have any. Oh, oh. Wait, hold on. Oh, that was the sound, but it didn't catch anything right there. I need to wait for the, you just caught a fish sound. And it's kind of, can't really hear it because of the sound of the waves and stuff like that in the background. Oh, very loud. Oh, 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 keep it behind the fish. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, my gosh, it's kind of tough. Oh, man. Oh, 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 it, wait, oh, well, no, we got a wing. Man. Nah, well, I guess it's lucky that I got my first ever fish and failed on my second one. So am I not able- am I able to go into a shop even though he's in there or, or what? It's locked, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Oh man, yeah, that's why he came out, because it was turn to 5 p.m. right there. Golly. Alright, am I am I able to go to uh whatever her name is, his house? Robin? 5 p.m. Oh man. The shop is open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's too late right now though. Golly. Alright. Man, my energy dropped like a heckin' rock right there, by the way. Jeez. Oh, hey, look at that, another seashell right there, too. Oh, and then, yeah, we need to come back here and get the, uh, the wood to repair this bridge. And we'll be able to make it to over here, where it looks like, yeah, it's just a bunch of water there. I don't know what's over there, though. Huh. Interesting. Uh, what was it, 300? Is that what it wanted? How do I, uh, how do I interact with this? Oh, with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed, yeah. And, uh, we just spent, like, 50 or something like that right there, so... And driftwood. I assume that's worthless, so... I don't know, I, I might just drop that. Uh, let's see. Is there a button to just drop it? It's, yeah, it says it's trash. Fish, trash, fish, fish. Saltwater clam. Joja Cola's trash. <laughs> that's kind of savage, honestly. Davidil, forage, forage. Leak? Oh, that was a leak. I thought it was like a horseradish or something like that. Uh, I guess we'll just get rid of the driftwood. It's literally just a piece of wood, so... <laughs> just put that in the trash. Literally putting trash in the trash, so... There, I'll grab the, uh, the clam. Hey, there you go. How's it see? Someone lived here once. Yeah, well, lived. It can become a home for something else now, though. Uh, well, not anymore, because I have. I have. It's not going to be my house or anything like that, right? But, uh, I don't know. It doesn't say it's like a fish or anything like that. It's just like an item. It's a random item. It doesn't even have, like, a little little descriptor or whatever. It doesn't even say it's, like, trash, so... I don't know if I should keep it, to be quite honest. Uh, either way... Oh, whoa, whoa, there's another thing right there. Wait, what is that? Is that a good thing? There's another one right there, though. Ooh, hold on. If I could pick up two of them. Where are this clam, then? There you go. It, it doesn't have, like, a descriptor, so... Oyster! Oh, don't mind if I do. That's got to be good money right there, huh? And what about this? Oh! Aw, oh, man, if I had, like, the hoe, I'd probably till that and see if I could find anything under that. I don't know, maybe. What about this? Am I able to interact with that? Nah. No. It is getting dark. I did get some comments saying, uh... If I, if I stay up until 2 a.m., then I'll, like, pass out, so... Don't stay up that late. <laughs> the game just kind of forces you to go to bed, I guess. So, I guess we could just start heading home for right now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, whoa, there's something happening. That guy's going through the trash. How dare you go through the... Oh, whoa. Oh, he got caught. I forgot these guys' names. Does it show their names? George. Grr, sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy varmints. Oh, hey, that's me. Hey, George, you have some dumb raccoons going through your trash again? Pfft, I hate when things go through trash. <laughs> Even though I stole George Cola out of his second trash earlier. Oh, you turned up at the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. <laughs> All right. No problem, George. Oh! Oh, it's a person! It's the guy that's... Oh, whoa, whoa. He's a water droplet. It was me. I'm sorry. Oh, no worries. I bet you just want a little bit of food. Maybe a Joji Cola or something like that. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Eh, you're not wrong. Just like that Joja Cola. 
Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Yes, it's disgusting cheese. <laughs> no, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Ah, yeah, I might do that one. No, it's, uh, yes, it's illegal. That's George's private property. But I'm like, he kind of, like, put it in the trash. Like, he gave it up already. Like, if, if he stole it out of the trash, like, George isn't going to know this unless he watches him or hears him or something like that, right? I don't know. Uh, no, but you should get a job and stop leeching off of others. Golly, there's some savage answers here. You know what? I'm going to do this one. No, it's a shame for food to go away. I'm like, I'd, I'd be a hypocrite because I had to steal out of his trash earlier. <laughs> I'm like, if I didn't steal out of the trash, this guy would have had a Joja Cola, but I, could, I I wonder if I could just give him one. Either way, I'll just answer this one. This is kind of interesting. I didn't think this game would have like weird, uh, like morality checks, I guess you could say. <laughs> this is. Either way, no, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Let's do this. Thanks, Waffle. I knew you were an open minded person. I keep, uh, I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. Well, hey, Linus, that's his name. That's his name. You remember his name, Linus. Uh, yeah, as long as you're not harming anyone, I don't care. You can go home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared the raccoons off for good. Ooh, okay. Well, go to this trash can, the Star Drop Saloon. Maybe go to whatever that guy's name is down there. Oh, yeah, he is. He's literally doing that. He's going to the other trash can now. <laughs> oh! Oh no, he's going to get got! Oh! Wait, says Gus. Uh oh. Oh, he's hanging his head in shame. I know what you're doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Hey, eh, Gus is a nice guy. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. <laughs> Look at that big smile on this guy. This guy's a good guy. Go on, take it. Look at this. The town keeping the town's people nice and fed. That was pretty interesting. We didn't come across something like that until now. I wonder if... Oh, jeez, who's this? I wonder if we're going to have a lot more events like that happen in the future, you guys. That's going to be cool. Abigail. Hey, sorry in advance if I say anything rude. I didn't get much sleep last night. Well, she's over here mourning someone. I don't know who, but, uh, yeah, you're not going to get me angry, especially with what happened just right there. Heartwarming scene of, of uh, Linus going through the trash and then getting a bunch of zucchini fritters were his troubles. Can I uh, go through the trash myself? Or uh, I'm like, I already did that earlier. <laughs> if I didn't go through the trash earlier, then maybe uh, maybe Linus would add some. Well, I guess if I didn't go through the trash earlier, Linus wouldn't have those zucchini fritters, would he? So I guess that's a little bit of a silver lining right there. Either way, let's go back home, and uh, I guess we could go drop off, I don't know, I kind of want to keep like the daffodils or dandelions, you know, something, kind of want to keep something, just to kind of give it to someone for their birthday, if I could even check that board or whatever in the morning, uh, but other stuff like, dude, what, what, what do I want to sell before we go to bed, If is there anything I want to sell here, I'm like, I kind of want to sell like the crab and the oyster and the sun, I kind of want to sell these, but at the same time, I kind of want to, you know, children can, I don't care, put that in there. <laughs> I'm not gonna know that. But these over here, I kind of wanted to talk to that uh, fisherman guy. I wonder if I sell them, but I guess we'll sell them for right now, though. Cockle, sunfish, two oysters, and a crab. So there you go. And I'll keep these. Leak four inch. 40 in it. That's actually. Yeah, I kind of want to keep that, you know, for another mining adventure or whatever. Davidel, zero energy, but I kind of want to get. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. No, 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 no. Oh, I was trying to read it right there and I accidentally clicked. A traditional spring flower that makes a nice gift. That's why I was thinking, like, what, two episodes ago or something like that? I don't even know what episode this is. If I say two episodes ago, is that episode zero? Oh, jeez, don't throw it away. Uh, but, yeah, that that was why I was thinking uh, this would make a good gift. It's because that little descriptor right there is this a, uh, not the prettiest flower, but the leaves make a good salad. Okay. Tasty relative of the onion, the leek. Yeah, see, the daffodil, I guess I kind of want to keep that for someone's birthday, so... We'll just sell all the fish stuff. We'll sell the whatever else I put inside there. Oh, 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 jeez. Zongus is going to sleep. Or Zongus or whatever his name is. Don't go to sleep just yet. Don't wake him up. Just go over to your chest. Open her up. Put the daffodil inside there. Dandelion, I don't know. Eh, put that inside there as well. Leak, sure, why not? There you go. Let's right, close that up. Oh, he's still asleep. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to bed. Yeah, let's go to sleep for the night. Yeah, there you go. Day 10 of spring. Year one. Farming, nothing. Fishing, we got 292 gold from that, and I guess the can of Joji Cola was a fishing product, so hey, there you go. <laughs> Day 10 of spring, year one. Your progress has been saved. Nice. And, oh man, oh, look at that. Zungus came over here by my, uh, my bed while I was asleep. Can I wake him up? 
Hey, there's, oh, jeez, don't remove the rug while he's on top of it. What? I don't know how I did that right there. But I'm up to 1,356 gold right there, which is good. Decent amount of money from that, but hopefully we're going to get even more. Oh, it's raining. Uh, yeah, I don't think I could actually get anything from these, but uh, thankfully I watered this stuff yesterday, so hopefully it got a little bit of growing progress. What do we have here in the mail, though? Missing. I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return ASCP. I am having a tough time without it. There's a 250 gold reward in it for whoever finds the thing. Robin, ooh, accept the quest. Don't mind if I do. So if I come across a random axe... I guess we go back to Robin. I wanted to talk to her anyways. Uh, lost her favorite axe. The last time she remembers using it, she was cutting wood south of Marnie's Ranch. South of Marnie's Ranch. Where is that at? Leah's Cottage? Or maybe this area down here. Maybe. Should I do this? I'm like, we're in... In my raw footage, I'm at the 40 minute mark right now. On one hand, I kind of want to go talk to Sebastian, see what he's up to. See if I can get him uh, out of out of the basement and actually talk to him for once. <laughs> actually introduce myself and get that introduction mission done, you know? And then I also want to end off the episode because I'm like 40, almost 42 minutes into the raw footage right now. There you go. Get another leak. Why not? But I guess we'll go over here. Let's go see what Sebastian's up to. See if he's going to come out of the, uh, the, the basement. Hopefully he is. I'm like at 7 a.m. right now, so... Oh, yeah, you know what? If it's 7 a.m. right now, these guys aren't going to be open yet, right? I think we had this problem. Yeah, yeah, we had this problem a little while ago. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> I guess we can go down south to... And this is where Linus will stay in, by the way, too. So that's cool. Uh, so he, he, he's a welcome citizen of Pelican Town, which is really nice. But I do want to go south of Marnie's Ranch, which... I do it here. Oh, yeah, I guess I could. Because we can cut through our... Star... Or uh, not Star Revo. What, what is it called? French Toast Farm or French Toast Ranch? Something like that. Oh, man, I, I put, put some of the materials up so I can't get rid of the grass. Oh, yeah, I guess I can with the sword. Oh, hey, look at that. I, I can still get stuff with the... And it even does, like, a big sweeping area, too, and not just, like, one at a time. Interesting. Okay, I guess we'll just continue using the sword. And it uses no energy because I guess I'm not hitting an enemy. So, hey, it's not going to use up any energy. I'm not going to complain about that. There we go down here. And then here's Marty's ranch under this little thing right here, right? Yeah, here's Marty's ranch. South of Marty's Ranch is where Robin was cutting wood south. Oh, and there's more dandelions. Uh, whoops. There you go. Grab that. South of Marty's Ranch. I'm trying to look at this general area, see if I could find a random axe just on the ground. And I'm not seeing anything right now, but Marty's Ranch is right up here. And there's a little cow guy. <laughs> can I go inside here or, or what? Uh, oh, I can. Wait, what? Wait, have I been here before? I think I have. Yeah, 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 I have. I'm just looking around right now. Yeah, I have definitely been here. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wait, what in the world? Ew, it smells. Oh my gosh, we have another cutscene going on already. Jazz. Ew, it smells. Yeah, that's, that's a sewer grate. Uh-oh. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. Uh, no you don't, Vincent. <laughs> it's going to be disgusting. You're going to become all, like, mutated. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum, why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be the match for a big rusty old key. I don't know why I'm overhearing these two. Oh, oh. Ew. You hear like the goo or... Whoa! Whoa, they got spooked by something. There's something moving around in there, says this like nine-year-old child. <laughs> Sounding like that? <laughs> oh, I need I need to do better voices for these literal children. Okay, what is in this sewer? I don't know if I want to know. Oh, I got spooked as well! Uh-oh. Did I get sucked into the sewer? Wait, what? Uh-oh. Well, I kind of like teleported over here now. Oh, I would not be... Hold on. Yeah, that's south of Marty's Ranch. Is... Is heckin' uh... Whatever, what is her name? Robin... Is her axe randomly in that sewer grate? Like, what of our monsters inside there? Is it inside there? I would not be surprised if it's hanging inside there. Actually, I kind of would be, because that'd be kind of weird. That'd be, like, th the last place I'd think about going to find a random missing axe, right? But I think somewhere around here is where you guys were saying they find those uh, spring onions or green onions, whatever those were. Uh, more daffodils right there. Horse rash. Yep, more wild horse rash. Perfect. Then down here. Yep, there's the sewer grate. I don't know if I want to go down there. I'm like, it doesn't make sense to go down the right. Oh, here's some stuff, actually. Uh, oh, spring onions. Yeah, okay. So I guess just more of them randomly grown right there. 
But I guess I guess we can go talk to uh what a Gunther? The guy at the museum. Where's that at, by the way? Uh Mike Smith. Yeah, here it is right here. Stardew Valley Museum and Library. Open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, we can go over there and I guess maybe either talk to him and ask him for his weird rusty key. <laughs> or maybe specifically ask. Oh, whoa, whoa, there it is right there. There it is right there. I think. Is that it? You found the lost axe. Better return it to Robin. Hey, perfect. All right, well, let's go back to Robin for two different things. I want to go see if, uh, how much like a chicken coop costs as well as a return of this axe. Get 250 gold. And then... I guess while we're there, because we're going to be in- and it's raining right now, because we're going to be inside that house where, uh, Sebastian is, I guess we could see if he's going to come out of the basement and maybe be able to introduce ourselves and get that other mission done, maybe? That'd be really good. That's going to be, like, three stones, or three birds with one stone, actually. <laughs> we're going to be at 1,500, but almost 1,600. I said, wasn't it, uh, 250? If we do get 250 right now, we're going to be at 1,600 buckaroos. We're going to be really, really close to that 2,000 to actually get that backpack, which is going to be really good. So, I'm like, once we finally get that, I'm not going to have to worry about my inventory space being, like, locked to just the hot bar. We're going to finally have all of this down here. We're going to have literally three times as much space as we have right now. So, that's going to be really good. But, uh, just in case we come across anything else interesting, I'm just going to drop off some stuff over here. How, how's Zongus doing? Or Zongus. Whatever his name. I don't know. Don't axe him. Jeez. Or pickaxe him or whatever. <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong buttons all the time, you guys. Mix seeds. I might want to... I might want to... Uh, you know, I'm, I'll do that a little bit later. Let me grab the, uh, the Lost Axe. There you go. Let's go over to... What's her name? Uh, Robin and, like, Sebastian and... Was it Demetrius and, like, some other person? You'll see what they're up to up there and see if, uh, Sebastian will come out of the basement and... If I can actually introduce myself to him. Alright, well, it's 1240 right now. They open up at, like, what, 9 or something like that? So let's go here. And is this... I think this is Robin, right? Let's see. What can I do for you, shop? Upgrade house, Stonewood. Pretty sure that's Robin. Uh, house plant, table plant, calendar. Ooh, a ca uh, my own calendar. Well, 2,000, golly. Might as well just... A budget TV, telephone. Hold on. We used to check store hours and inventory. I can just do that from the map, though. Well, not inventory, I guess. Okay, that's kind of interesting, though. Uh, bed, stove, fireplace, brick, fireplace, wood. So where's the, uh, the coop, though? Is that even here? Oh, wait, no, no, no. I must be mixing some stuff up, right? Uh, maybe... I don't even know. Is this even Robin? I don't know. Uh, but I think we could talk to her about upgrading our house, right? Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. All right. Well, hey, there you go. We got that mission done, so that's good. But I also want to talk to you about potentially... Oh, gosh. Do not axe her. I would, if you're going to axe anything, axe her a question. If you could actually... Uh, there you go. Oh, there it is right there. There's the upgrade house thing. Oh, yeah, you can also talk to her about upgrading uh, or constructing farm. Oh, so, so how much does a chicken coop cost? Oh, it costs. Oh, yeah, it also costs money. 300 wood, 100, uh, yeah, 100 stone, 4,000 gold, though. Golly. Houses four coop dwelling animals. I wonder what those could be. Like one rooster and maybe three hens. I don't know if it, Oh, hold on. What else do we have here? Barn, four uh, barn dwelling animals. Like we saw a cow earlier. I don't know if they have horses, pigs, sheep, stuff like that, you know? 6,000 gold, 350 wood, 150 stone, 1,000 gold, and 75 stone for a water well. Provides a place for you to refill your watering can. I'm like, I have a lake or whatever right next to or like a pond, like right under my house. Not really that big of a deal. Allows, silo allows me to cut and store grass for feed. 100 gold, but I need 10 clay and 5 copper bar and 100 stone. I don't know what I want to save up for, honestly. Like, mill allows me to mill wheat, beets, and rice. 2,500 gold. And I'm sure if I... Like, process all this stuff. I'll get a lot more. And then we have a shed right here, an empty building. Fill it with whatever you like. Interior could be uh, decorated. Fish pond, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm sure if we do, like... If we sell, like, refined things... Like, if we get, like, flour from wheat... I guess we'll get more money out of that. Because, like, the time that went into turning wheat into flour, right? I assume we'll get more money out of that. Uh, 5,000 for a fishing pond, golly. But I, I guess it makes sense... If we want to get a lot of fish without going down to... Like, the lake slash ocean or whatever that is down there, right? Uh, cabin, home for a friend, subsidized by the Town Agricultural Fund. So I guess if I'm playing multiplayer, I just pay 100 gold, 10 stone, and we'll get a second house my friend could have. And then a cabin, uh, oh, another one right there, but it's just a slightly different, and then another one in the stable. 10,000 gold, 100 hardwood, 5 iron bar, allows me to keep and ride a horse. Horse included? Ooh! Slime hutch? Raise up to 20 slimes, fill water troughs, and slimes will create slime balls. 10,000 gold. Golly, this is a lot of stuff. Shipping bin. Throw items inside to sell them over. Now, we already have that, don't we? Yeah, I think so. 
Another, okay, it just circled around to the coop. Okay. Interesting stuff there. And how, how do we upgrade the house? Is that 10,000 like you guys said? Uh, I could increase the size of your house and add a kitchen. Yeah, that's what you guys are talking about. It'll cost 10,000 gold, and you'll also need to provide me with 450 pieces of wood. Are you interested? I am, but I, I can't afford it. <laughs> so I'm just, I guess I'll have to uh, uh, decline that, unfortunately. Now, I do want to go around the house, see if Sebastian's hanging out. I do not see him, so I guess we'll go down to the basement. And I, I assume he's here. Yeah, the, oh, wait, whoa, wait. Is that Abigail? Am I friendly enough with Abigail? Oh, I guess I still have to be friendly with Sebastian to go in there. I was about to say, hey, Abigail, let me inside there. If that is her name, I think it is, right? I'm trying to slowly learn everyone's name here. <laughs> Either way, do we have... I'm like... I don't know. I kind of want to hang out here. Just see if he eventually comes out of the, out of the basement and I can finally meet him some... Uh, some weather, huh? Yeah, I know, right? It's raining out just outside for like literally five seconds. <laughs> is he going to come out of there or what? It's raining. He should come out, but at the same time, he has a guest over, so why would he randomly leave whenever he has a guest? I don't know. Probably not a good time to expect him to come out. Maybe, maybe sometime here in the future. But for right now, 52 minutes into this raw recording, way overboard with how long I want to record these videos. <laughs> I know you guys probably aren't complaining about the length of these videos or anything like that, but uh, I do want to keep them, you know, pretty digestible, not too long. <laughs> But uh, either way, and of course, I do want to read you guys' comments and whatnot, suggestions and all that kind of stuff. So if I have like a billion year long video, I'll never be able to do that. But I guess we could end off this episode right here. Uh, 2.30 p.m. might be a little bit early to actually go to bed and save the game and whatnot, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so I guess we'll just go over here and I'll just do the outro and then save the game or something, I guess. I'm like, we did get a little bit of progress done. i save it right now. Go to bed at 2.40 p.m. <laughs> Go to sleep for like, what, 14 hours or something like that? Yeah, 6 a.m., golly. Or like 13 and a half hours or something crazy. Wait, why is this freaking out? It's like an arrow pointing there now, yo. Oh, uh, Robin's lost axe. Okay. Oh, and there's the 250 gold right there. Nice. All right, so there you go. We get that. And uh, I guess we can work on the other missions next episode. So until then. Oh, and look at how sunny it is. Oh, there are the flowers right there. Cool. Oh, and then there's the tulip. Tulip. I forgot we planted tulips here. These are going to be perfect for giving gifts for birthday as well. And there's our dog up there hanging out up there. Yeah, look at that. So that's why that little weird piece of wood was right there. And that's why that water was there, too. This is water and bowl. Huh, that's cool. I wonder where his feeding bowl is, though. Maybe that is his feeding bowl. I could actually put food there. I don't know. Either way. Oh, and I can harvest all this stuff, too. Interesting. Either way, like I was trying to say, like 40,000 times. <laughs> Thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as next episode of Stardew Valley comes out. Because as you guys already know, we have a lot of missions and stuff like that ahead of us. Uh, initiations. Yeah, might want to go back to the mine next episode. Kill 10 slimes real quick. That shouldn't be too bad. Uh, then reach level 40 of the mines. That's probably not going to happen next episode. <laughs> Raising animals, build a coop. Uh, relatively expensive. Maybe we'll get that in the next five episodes or something like that. And then still need to meet Sebastian for this mission right here. And of course, that one weird, like, getting the key to the sewers and getting that from the guy in the museum, all that kind of stuff, like random side things like that. Don't want to forget about that kind of stuff because that was kind of interesting seeing that little little thing with the two kids going to the sewer and getting spooked by whatever was inside there. I'm kind of intrigued by what might be hiding inside there, and I'm sure you guys are as well, so you won't want to miss these upcoming episodes. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. <laughs>